Our first story takes us to a Nashville nonprofit called Turnip Green Creative Reuse. Now, to them, items in your closet that you might consider useless can be diverted from the landfill for new life in the hands of teachers and artists. What we're aiming to do is to divert as many usable materials from the landfill as possible and reconnect those with teachers, students, and artists who need them. That's Leah Sherry. Executive Director of Turnip Green Creative Reuse. And this is their center on Houston Street in Nashville. It's a place where you'll find row after row of donated materials, almost everything imaginable. Stuff that's been spared from the landfill for, well, creative reuse. We get a wide variety of donations every single day. We do see a lot of fabric and architectural samples, so like tiles and carpet samples, but we also get a lot of traditional arts and crafts supplies and books and paper and office supplies. We also get a lot of random things too. You never know what's gonna come through the door, and so you can come to Turnip Green every single day and find something different. So what exactly does creative reuse mean? You might go to a thrift store and buy a shirt and you would wear it again as a shirt. Creative reuse, it allows you to be really creative and innovative with the materials. So if you found a shirt here, it might be deconstructed. You may turn it into t-shirt yarn or a scarf. You can really take it to that next level to give it its next life. You know, the old adage about one person's trash being another's treasure definitely applies in this place. For example, a bunch of old used CDs, throw them away. No, with a little creativity, you can make a beautiful lamp. For artists and craftsmen, the Reuse Center is like a palace of treasures, full of items just waiting for new life. According to Deputy Director Jennifer Anchevsky, the Green Gallery is a popular showplace for their works. The artists that take the material from here and transform it into this fine art, it's just a wonderful way to showcase how these items can turn into something that's so beautiful and so, so wonderfully reused. <laughs> um, you know, and it's, they do just a great job of, of showcasing that. Ever wonder what happens to used passenger airline seats? Well, thanks to a partnership with Southwest, a great many wind up here. They are doing a really good job of looking for innovative ways to be sustainable. So they actually, whenever they take their old airline seats, instead of throwing them away, they give them to some partner organizations. We're one of them. We get 1,100 airline seats, um, the leather on the airline seats every single month. And we, yes, and we work with artists and creatives all over the community. They turn them into projects like bags and purses and even baby shoes. Of course, not all turnip green visitors are shopping for art supplies. Jameson Parker drops in monthly to search for egg cartons. I live out in Old Hickory and I'm an employee at Hopewell Farms. Um, I'm personally responsible for a lot of our chicken operations and um, building projects. But I come here about once a month for um, egg cartons. I'm loading up today. Um, they're really difficult to get right now for us, and uh, all of our customers tend to return them to us. So I only have to come about once a month, and I can use these uh, for that entire month and reuse them and continue to reuse them as people return them to me. As you stroll through the aisles, you may notice the absence of price tags. Leah has two good reasons for that. We're getting over 1,000 pounds of materials every single day, so that's, that's a lot to price, but the real root of why we don't price items is because we want them to remain accessible. We want artists and teachers and anyone in our community to be able to come and get what they need and pay whatever they're able to afford. We understand that everyone's budget is different. While the retail operation is the heart of Turnip Green's efforts, there's also an outreach education program. Employees and volunteers show youngsters how to create artwork using reusable materials. And it's also a good way to instill those reuse uh, values uh, when they're young, you know, so they can take those habits and those skills that they've learned in after school back home to their families and then it just becomes part of their daily process. The daily process here at Turnip Green is always different. 
what with sorting and displaying new donations and helping customers. And as with any nonprofit group, it's always a task to raise money and just stay afloat. But when you're doing your part to save the planet, well, it's a worthwhile challenge. We're just very grateful for all of the creative energy and ideas and people who share all of their talents with us. And um, that's what's helped Turnip Green become what it is today. And I'm excited to see where it goes from here.